Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. Before we get into the word today, I'd just like to take this opportunity to invite you to join us for Friday's episode of From Heaven at Seven, 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page where we will be having a special edition of From Heaven at Seven where my message will be a message that is shot once again on location and the message will be followed by a live prayer session. So I want to encourage you to join us on my Facebook page on Friday morning morning for from heaven at seven prepare those prayer requests bring them and let's spend some time together in prayer standing god in agreement for whatever it is that you are trusting him for family the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 from the christian standard bible and it reads as follows pride comes before destruction and an arrogant spirit before a fall family i've quoted that portion of scripture numerous times in the series and here it finally is Pride comes before destruction. That is something very important for us as Christians to understand, family. It's a, it's a principle that we need to understand because the Bible says that God resists the proud. And if somebody's full of pride, it means that God is going to resist them. And if God is going to resist them, it opens their lives up for the devil to attack them and consequently for destruction to come in their lives. Because the Bible also says in John 10, 10 that the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. And if God is resisting us, he's going to come steal, kill, and destroy. And that pride is consequently going to lead to destruction because the Lord is resisting us because of the pride family. Pride is a very, very, very dangerous thing for any Christian to have because pride is basically of the character of the devil. It was pride that got Lucifer kicked out of heaven because of his pride, because he thought he could, you know, be, be, better than God. He thought he could defeat God. He thought he could get the angels to rebel against God and, you know, kick him off his throne. But God is almighty and consequently got himself kicked out of heaven and he was no longer Lucifer, but then now what we know, know as Satan or the devil family. And it was pride that got him there. So it is a very dangerous thing to have. It's something that God really dislikes because he knows that it's not in his character. God's character we can read about in the Bible. God's character we can read about in the fruit of the spirit and all these kinds of things and you will not find pride there family because that is not God's character it is the devil's character so we need to make sure that when we go forward especially as Christians that we need to go forward in the character and likeness of God because God made us in his likeness and image and he wants us to carry his character and he wants us to portray his character to the world around us God doesn't want us to think that we're better than him because at the end of the day, God doesn't share his glory with anyone, family. You know, if we're prideful, you know, God's going to do things in our lives. And when he does things in our lives, we're going to take the credit for it. It's going to boost us up. It's going to boost our ego. And we're not going to glorify God for it. And at the end of the day, God's going to take his hand off and say, whoa, I'm not going to do this for you anymore because you're not giving me credit for it anymore. We have to give God the glory, family. If pride sets in, it's, it's causes us to bring credit to ourselves instead of God. And we need to give God the credit for every Everything that he's done in our lives, everything that we have, God has given to us, the breath in our lungs, God has given to us. We need to be grateful to the Lord and worship the Lord and glorify the Lord for this instead of taking it upon ourselves and saying, you know, well, the breath in my lungs is there because I breathed in and breathed out and consequently the breath is there. It's, it's not from God and all these kinds of things. No, family, we must not be full of pride. We must not allow an ounce of pride in our lives. And what does it go on there to say? It says an arrogant spirit before the fall. And that once again goes hand in hand with pride, family. What is arrogance? Arrogance is thinking that basically you're a know-it-all in these kinds of things. And it's basically saying, okay, well, I know better than God. And don't we do that so often sometimes, family, that we say, okay, well, God, you know, you want me to go this way, but I, I think it's better for me to go that way. That's arrogance, family. And that's leading to God resisting you because God wants you to go this way and you want to go that way. But at the end of the day, God is not going to violate our own free will because that's not who he is. That's not what he does. So we're going to go in that direction that we want to go, but God is going to resist us. God is not going to be in at his hand of blessing, his hand of favor and all these kinds of things are not going to be honored and consequently it's going to lead to destruction it's going to lead to a fall in our lives family we need to come 
humbly before the Lord each and every day, knowing that we are nothing and he is everything, knowing that it is him that has given us the breath in our lungs, everything that we have in our possession, the call that he's placed upon our lives, the anointing that he's placed upon our lives, all these things the Lord has given to us, all the victories and breakthroughs and blessings that he's given us in the past. These are the things that he has given us, family. It's not stuff that we have done. We need to come before the Lord humbly and say, Lord, here I am. Use me. Not my will be done, but your will be done. Lord, lead me and guide me in what I say, what I do each and every day. And Lord, I'll be sure to give you alone all the praise, glory, and adoration for everything that you do and accomplish in and through and for me. These are the kinds of things that we need to go before the Lord and say, family. We need to humble ourselves before him because the Bible says that if we humble ourselves before the Lord, he will exalt us, family. If we're prideful, he will resist us. If we're humble, he will exalt us. It's as simple as that, family. So I want to encourage you, if you've got pride in your life, to repent of that, to ask the Lord to forgive you and ask him to do a work within you to remove that pride and to help you to be more humble, to help you to depend on him more, to help you to not be arrogant and to allow him to lead you and guide you and to never, ever, ever steal the glory from God, but instead give God the glory each and every day. I want to encourage you, family, to come humbly before the Lord. And as you do this, as you change your attitude from arrogance and pride to humility, you will see the Lord moving more mightily in you, through you and for you. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word and the advice in your word. Lord, and I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, there where we have pride in our lives, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will help us to Take that pride and put it at the altar, Lord, to, to get rid of that pride, to get it out of our lives, to get that arrogance out of our lives, Lord, so that we can go forward being humble before you, Lord, being your vessels to do what you need to do, Lord, and to not allow pride to interfere with that, to not allow our arrogance to interfere with that, Lord, so that we can be the people you've created us to be, do the things that you've called us to do, and live the life that you want us to live. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.